Hi everybody, I'm Ross the Boss, and today we're talking about how to make your fantasy baseball team more interesting, excuse me, not team, but league, there you go, your league more interesting and fun so people don't quit during the season. Um, as you know, baseball is 162 games, it's a long season, folks, it's long, and if your team's out of it by August, do you think I'll be checking and caring about the team? No. So it becomes like a five-man league by August. And then you got playoffs and everything else, and, and the league's over. And the reason why is people, if they're losing and there's no way they can make the playoffs, they quit. It's a natural, it's a natural phenomenon. It's it's it just happens. It's it's human being a human being. But that all being said, here's my baseball. Um, I have ways to make it so people don't quit. And your league's going on even during football season that people really want to play football. People love football. Uh, but this way, your baseball league will be year-round and no one quits. So I will start with, as we know, we lock the rosters up. You lock rosters up so people don't drop all their stars and make it, make it a free-for-all to pick up players. It doesn't work. And make your trade deadlines earlier. You know, that way... The league stays at least fair. You know what I mean? At least players aren't being released that shouldn't be released or shouldn't be traded for that shouldn't be traded for. I mean, this makes the league a lot more fair and even. So that's the one thing. And remember, folks, it's 162 games, so it's a long season. But that's the first thing. Being commissioner, what I always do is I make sure it's a short trade trade season. And also, we lock those rosters up early. So players that are out of the playoffs don't drop all the good players. Um, you know, team with the best stats, let's say, um, you know, we, we should reward them. You know, we should we should reward the team with the best stats should be rewarded. Not even though if it's a head and head on head in a league, um, we should make the stats. If they're doing great in certain stats, they should either monetarily or maybe they get to draft earlier next season, but there's a way to do it in which you can reward people staying the playing the whole season, making their maybe they get a higher draft pick, maybe they play less money into the pool for next season. I don't know, but you want to keep them occupied during the whole season, and doing that, that way they can work on stats. Let's say best batting average or most home runs in the league gets gets a prize or something. You know what I mean? But those little things do matter. People like to win. Even though they're not in it playoff-wise, maybe a certain stat, they're killing it, and they can be rewarded for that. Get it? That's that's always fun. Another thing is maybe cut the season in half. Have a first half of the season, and then we have a second half of the season. So the first half of the season, whoever wins it automatically makes the playoffs in September. Okay? And, this, and then there's a redraft. We redraft. We have a whole new draft, let's say in July, right during the All-Star break. And we have a whole new season. And then and then the best two, and the best, let's say, four or six teams play in the playoffs. And, you know, you can have fun with it. You can divide it in half. That way people don't quit. People can have fun. People can have new players for half the season. It's a great way to do it. And I know it's a lot of work. But it's totally rewarding, and I get it. So, say, having a two half seasons to me is kind of fun. I want to do that this year. Don't worry, folks. I'm doing that. Um, you know, another thing that I always like to do is I like to have a balanced field. You know what I mean? Maybe like person in last place. Let's say we give them a chance to redeem themselves, and maybe they can get points on a certain stat or something, or maybe there's a way they can get a better draft pick and they're just not tanking on purpose. And I would say to make sure that people don't tank on purpose, it's kind of a weird way to do it. But I would do this, and I'm doing it this year. In September, the teams that are out of it, whoever has the best record out of those teams that are like not in playoff contention, the person who wins that will get the first draft Next, first pick next year in the draft. So it's more incentive. It's not, you know, that way you don't tank. You're not sitting there losing on purpose so you get the first pick next season. That doesn't work. Um, because that way they, they're still playing. You're playing to come in first place in September to get that first pick. 
I love that idea. Those are teams that are out of the playoffs, obviously. Um, teams that are in the playoffs, you, you don't qualify. Sorry, folks. Um, but that way you stop tanking. People love to tank in baseball. You know, I've been in many leagues, and by August, teams just tank on purpose. And it drives me nuts because it's a head-to-head league, and you're trying to you're trying to beat the you know you're trying to win, and the guy that you're against is playing some team that's tanking, and and it's not fair. You know, you're like, you know, how can I beat this? How can I win if the, the my opponent's playing a team that's tanking? Doesn't make any sense. Um, so you know, also this is all in good humor. I heard some horror stories with tattoos and punishments, but everything else. But there's, but there's other ways to do it. Maybe punish the guy who comes in last place. You know what I mean? Punish the guy that comes in last place. It doesn't have to be anything physical. Maybe something more like embarrassing him somehow, making him wear a T-shirt, doing something crazy or fun. Nothing, nothing that could hurt you. But putting that person like saying, "You came in last this season. Shame on you. Don't do it again." And this is your punishment. That's the way. That's a fun way to do it. You know, that's what I would do. Um, but again, these are just ways to make your league fun and different. Another thing, be creative with like stats, you know, maybe like the most ground into double plays gets like, you know, gets a prize. The team that has the most double, you know, ground double plays, maybe they get a gift card or maybe something fun. You know what I mean? But, you know, be creative with the stats. You don't have to do the, you know, five on five, which I talked about. You can have, like, different stats. I mean, in one of my leagues, I have, like, grand slams, no hitters. I have, like, crazy stuff. Um, it's like 20 of them. Um, I, I like to be creative with it, you know. I mean, a lot of the stats will never happen. But triples, maybe stolen, you know, caught, caught stolen bases, box, you know, crazy stuff. But have fun with it. Baseball is here to have fun. And having crazy stats and making them count really matters. Um, and again, people complain to me about it. You know, I have one league where it's like 21 stats and you name it, it's a stat. And they're like, well, this is, there's no skill to this. It's not fair. I'm like, listen, deal with it. Have fun. You know, and uh, some people like it. Some people, the purists don't. But Ross, the boss, likes it in some leagues, not every league. You know, I'm in like 10 leagues. Um, but again, these are just ways so you can be competitive, but you can also have a whole 162 game season. And that way it's fun for you. It's fun for me. It's fun for the whole league. And people want to come back next season instead of dropping teams out. Because if a team drops out, I'm, if I'm the commissioner, they're out of my league. I mean, if a team quits like in August and they drop players or they just quit, they're not even going to the website to to rearrange their players to starting, they're gone. So that all being said, these are ways to just make sure that your teams stay in the league and have fun the whole season. If you need any help with your fantasy baseball, comment below, press that like button, and I'll see you on the field, cowboy.